Hi, this is Greg with California GSP Rescue, and I'm here with Beans, and we, we've been waiting to tell you her story. We got her several weeks ago. She actually came in the second week of July. She's one of the dogs we got in during that crazy couple weeks, and we wanted to put some weight on her. We're slowly doing that, but you can see she's still thin, but she's doing much better than she was when we first got her. She was just skin and bones. got her from a shelter local and when I got there I had to wait. I went out to the kennel to take a look and I wanted to share that with you and just show you some of the amazing dogs that you can see at the shelter and cats. There's no reason to go buy a cat. Go save a cat if you like cats because there's so many at the shelter and kittens. They have so many kittens right now at the shelters. It's crazy a lot of puppies and a lot of kittens. Talk a lot about the dogs, but there's a lot of cats, a lot of cats. This whole area right here is cats. We're gonna go see some of the dogs and see what they have available for adoption. You see multiple dogs in the kennels, it means that they're over capacity. Also means these dogs get along with each other. Oh yeah! A lot different when they're outside. They're young, look, they want to play. <laughs> so we've had beans around several other dogs. We've been fostering her and she's been around numerous dogs. She's done well with everyone. Couple altercations with a couple of the female dogs, uh, probably from her anxiety, so we think she will do best with a male dog. Uh, she has no issues. She actually, on the walks with Bodie, she does great. She loves walking with Bodie, and they have gotten this little routine together now where she's got a very strong prey drive, and when they see a rabbit or a squirrel, it's game on. They are on it, and the lizards as well. So she's just really been a real pleasure. Her and Bodie are like who's in front of each other when we're walking, but she's doing really well. But he's a male, and we think she might do best with a male than a rather than a female. So for exercise, we walk every day. She's walking a mile and a half to two miles every day. Today, she's getting a little bit more exercise because we're having a walk a dog day with the volunteers. But Jeff hooked her up to a bike, and she did well. She needs a little work, but it's a great way to exercise your dog. You can see they get a lot of exercise in a short amount of time. And so if you're pinched for time, teach your dog to go on a bike. It'll save you a bunch of headaches. It'll save something from being chewed if you got a young GSP. Do me a favor, if you're interested in learning more about beans, click the link and go to the website. There you can read more about her and you can fill out an application. She's a great dog. She's about four years old. She's got a lot of energy left in her, but she needs the right person. Somebody who's gonna walk her at least a mile and a half, two miles a day. Guaranteed, that's what she needs. No questions. If you're interested in helping support our efforts saving dogs at shelters, please consider becoming a rescue hero. You can read more about that on the website right there. Beans is one of the three dogs we got the week after the 4th of July. That week after we got uh, in Annie and Shogun and Tango, the following week got in Felix, Django and Beans. The shelter is not the place to be if you're a dog after the 4th of July. They're getting in so many dogs from the fireworks as strays and some of those dogs aren't gonna be picked up and she was sitting there waiting. So we knew we had to act quickly when we, we, we learned about her. And we got her in and you can see, she's just skin and bones. We've put some weight on her. She still needs a couple pounds. You can see the ribs and you can see her, see her hips. There's nothing the matter with her. At the shelter, they are anxious and they don't always eat. And that was probably the case with her. And we don't know how long she was straight for or running loose or even if she was fed regularly prior to that. We think she's more like four, but I gotta tell you, walking her every day, she is walking like a three-year-old. 
it wouldn't surprise me at all if she were a little younger than four. We're sticking with four. It's, I love that age. It's an easy age. You give them a little bit of exercise, it goes a long way, as opposed to the one-year-olds where you give them a lot of exercise and a few hours later, you gotta give them a lot of exercise again. We've had Beans around other dogs. She's done phenomenally well. She's right now in a foster care with the other dogs and no issues. A couple minor altercations, but those we think are caused by her anxiety. She has a little separation anxiety. She'll cry if I leave the room and she wants to be with me. But when I leave to go to work or when I leave to run errands, she seems to be fine with the other dogs. They seem to keep each other entertained. She is good on walks. She did a lot better when I first got her, but she's been learning to get out in front with the other dogs. So she doesn't pull like they do, but she likes to be in front. But it's okay because it's not too much. If you are interested in adopting Beans or one of the other dogs that we've recently taken in, please get that application in. And if you're unable to adopt and you wanna help, please like and share this video. There's nothing that helps more than just sharing the videos of the dogs. Somebody out there is looking for Beans and the other dogs we've rescued, and by sharing the video, they have an opportunity to see that dog and possibly adopt them. We greatly appreciate your help in doing that. Thank you. And thank you, baby.